All right, welcome to another episode of Clean Hand Mechanic with Cam. Today I'm going to teach you how to reset a TPMS sensor for a 2006 Impala. All right, first thing you're going to do is put the key in, turn the key to the on position, and <clears throat> what you're going to look for is the second button down on this menu here, which looks like a little card with the eye next to it, and click that until we get over to the menu option I'm looking for. Uh, which is press to relearn tire positions um, right there once i get there i'm going to click and hold the check which is the bottom button right there tire learning active all right so once you go from tire learning active you're going to start on the left front tire over to the right front tire the right rear, and lastly, the left rear tire. And all you're gonna do is decrease the air until you hear the horn go off. Just like that. So as, as you can see, the recommended pressure for each tire is 32 PSI. So what I'm doing, or what I've already done, is taking, taking each tire up to 40 PSI. That way, when it decreases to the right amount, the horn will go off. All right, again, we're gonna start with the left front tire. And all we're doing is Releasing a little air until we hear the horn blow. I got the chuck hooked up, but it's not connected to air. So it's gonna release pressure. There you go. Once you hear the horn blow, go right on to the next tire. All right, I got another blow, which means it went ahead and read the other tire. So I'm gonna skip one. Oh, I got to read on that one now. So if you do set the tire pressure high enough, it will go ahead and start reading the tires. Same thing here. This will be the last one. There you go. That's four. So now, when I come back in the car, <clears throat> it doesn't say it's actively reading anymore. It says press to relearn. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna tap on the car again. Right there, I'm gonna tap the car button until I get around and it should read the pressure on each tire. There we go. Front 42 and 40, 33 and 39. So now I can just set them at the tire pressure that I want them at. And that pretty much sums it up. So I know it did kind of skip through the tires. But if you put a little extra pressure, it'll be a lot easier for the TPMS sensors to read.